Today is Friday when I'm filming this, and Friday is my day to film and edit this week in Nerf. So I thought maybe we'd talk a little bit about that process and all that goes into it and kind of why Friday is a busy day for you. But on top of that, tomorrow is a BTA game, which means I have to do a bunch of prep to get stuff ready for that as well. So uh, we've got a fair amount to do. Let's just... Uh, Let's get into it. So throughout the week, I will uh, check Reddit, check Facebook, check Instagram, check all the, the spots for uh, Nerf potential news or things like that. And I will bookmark whatever I find throughout the week. And then towards Thursday or Friday, I will start to uh, go through the stuff and put together the list of items I'll be talking about. Now you'll see I'll put stuff in a uh, like Word document style thing right here. And I will go ahead and just kind of give myself like cliff notes of what I want to talk about. So that way, when I have the camera running, I can quickly just look at something and know the bullet points that I wanted to expand on. So that's something I do that gives me a huge amount of help uh, when I am talking. And then something that I love is this monitor is on a mount so I can actually swivel it around and drop a magazine and position it so it's within easy eyesight. Something I love about these, but it's just kind of my daily process for filming the This Week in Nerf stuff. Uh, next up is to get everything else set up. So it's really a pretty simple setup when it's all said and done. Let me squeeze in here. It is a bit of a tight fit uh, when I've got everything all set up. You can see uh, being blinded by one and two lights and then the monitor is right about there. So you can kind of get an idea of what I see when I am sitting here filming. Uh, the camera will sit right on here and it will film me on the wall. And oh my goodness, I am blown out right now because I have not changed the settings there. That's a little bit better. Oh my goodness. Uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty simple then I'll just sit down and start talking and just go through my bullet points and add the thoughts that I have that I wanted to talk about and go from there so why don't we talk after I finish all right so we finished the edit of this week in nerf I figured I'd just go ahead and do that rather than showing you all the process maybe I will in the future if there's enough interest for it but uh it's actually not that uh bad of an edit i try to keep things as minimal as possible because i do need to get this out uh the following day after filming so i try to keep things as simple as i can uh but now we're just on to the uh render and then we'll export and then we will start the upload and then we can do the thumbnail and then we can do uh the description all that stuff uh so it, it just continues uh, even after we're done with the edit. So the video is uploaded. Uh, I did the thumbnail. I'm sorry I didn't share that. I realized how out of it I was feeling. I just wanted to hammer it out and uh, we'll, we'll go more into depth in the process in another video. But um, I thought I was going to show the whole getting prepped for tomorrow thing, but it's already uh, getting dark outside. It's almost 8 o'clock, I think, and I, I need to... Uh, just scramble through this so I can get some rest. So hopefully the next time I see you, we will be up to something fun. So I found a person. I found, I found a Brett. Oh! He, he doesn't have a, a <coughs> so did, true. Did, did I did I kill you? Yeah. I'm sorry. <coughs> well, something just got caught in my throat. <laughs> Don't the, know what that was. The timing was <coughs> impeccable. You all right? Probably. I hope so. Yeah. I was just looking at this. this thing's awesome, right? Yes. Absolutely love it. The way it functions, the mechanism is just so cool. Oh, I know. And it feels loading the the shells in is oh yeah. Be still, my beating heart. I, want I know. One. Well, it's, uh, you know, for all you sledge fire enthusiasts, for certain. I want one. I need one. I want one with a stock, though. 
I, yeah. the stock would be nice. I don't know how long I'd want it because even like for me, as yeah. a smaller guy, yeah, true. this almost works. Yeah, right? just a little bit more, a few more inches and it would work for you. Uh, the lighting here is terrible. It's all spotty and ugly. That is 100% your choice. That's true. Yep. I did this to us. It's my fault. So uh, what would you think of 5v5 on the new field? There's a new field? You've played okay. on the bigger field New before. for me. New for you, yes. New for me versus other stuff. Yes. I didn't see any of those rocks that you mentioned earlier being dangerous. That's a plus. So that's, that's good. That's a plus. I like that. So you're either a total liar or we all were safe. Um, uh, I think <laughs> choose I'd, which one. I think I'd prefer safe. Good. All right. It seems reasonable. Um, no, I like that we had perfect weather today. Yeah, outside of the wind. Yeah. The wind There was sucked. a little bit of wind. Um, I was not a fan. That did depend on the game. Like, sometimes we had no wind, sometimes we did. And it blew over everything. Yeah, that and too. You guys had yeah. to set up the cover a couple oh, times. Such is such is life. But no, it was good. I liked uh, I liked getting the feel for this more competitive style for sure. You know, it's what I'm all about. All I know is I know you. You've had to transition from going from burn, where it was like casual competitive, right. to up north, where you get to have fun with all the goofy stuff you want. Right. And then transitioning back to occasionally coming for. Some competitive nerve. Yeah, I like. I mean, I like the cover here. I know I've seen before. Yeah. You guys had the. Um, what was it that you used for cover before? It's like, a, like a mesh, mesh, just until we could get these ones actually. Yeah. I finished. like. I like these ones because oh, it does. Yeah. I mean, you do have to look around now. You can't just look right through. Yeah. Um. But when they when they stay up, when they don't fall over, yeah. they work. Uh. They work really well. I like. It, it's always hard when you have to try and host a game somewhere that's outside, and you have something like a bush. Like, because oh. a bush can be really good cover, but it can also be terrible cover. Because you could be standing right behind it, and there just could be some missing spots that darts go right through. Yes. Unless it's the bush that we had at Burn. Which right? was, oh. Which is, that, that's the bush. That bush right? was amazing. That's a great bush. That was the best bush in the existence of the world. Is it still there? Yes. Thank God. Yes. Okay. Uh, then yes, you I, have I can to, justify coming back if the bush you, is still there. You have there. to come back for like a sand game. <laughs> just go to that bush. And just, yes, that I'll bush. hide in the bush. There's been so many good plays at that bush. I know. It's and great. It's, it's just bush. amazing. It's my favorite. And uh, I, I miss having you here, I have to say. I miss, I miss, I miss having, oh, bring, he's bringing it in. Bring I'm, it in. I'm so happy. Bring it right here. This is probably the no, most emotionless is... uh, hug we've ever uh, had. Have we even had another hug? You know what? I don't know. Okay. So well, therefore, so this, this is, is the, the most, most emotional yeah. hug. No, it's the yeah. most emotional. Well, I guess. we've never had another one. I, I, guess, I guess you went the optimist and I went the pessimist route on this. It shows a lot. Anyways, this was great. I love, I love this different style. Like having, you know, there are five people, there are five people, and having the objectives because by that last game which was pretty crazy you know i just played the objective because i was out of ammo basically yeah and that's how we won by three seconds which was oh we had a three second finish Thank and a gosh. two second finish and that was you that was us that was yeah. you who won the two guess second finish. also against stick together yep which was um, just like we, those were insane. we consider that basically a tie though that was yeah. a pretty oh, good yeah. game. it could have gone either way mm -hmm. which made these games so much fun uh so definitely i'm, I'm looking forward to having yes. you come back out for more but yes. uh and hopefully getting some of our games started. Yes. Oh, requests. yes. We need more competitive nerve everywhere. Yes. That'll be fun. I have a problem. I like competing. <laughs> Sorry. I've got a problem. The only solution is more competitive nerve. So I wanted to film a bit more of what was going on. However, my camera had an unfortunate meeting with the concrete. And uh, it is not functioning currently. I have a claim sent out to the protection plan that I purchased for it. I have not heard back yet. I'm just waiting and fingers crossed that it's they'll be able to cover it and get it fixed and uh, you know back to me before end war. Uh, I mean that's my main camera now. I've got another camera. However, it's not as easy to use for this style of video. Right now I'm I'm on my phone. Um, so it probably sounds not so great and it's not gonna look as nice as it was. So I don't know what this is going to do in terms of slowing down the production of videos and things like that. Uh, depending on when you're seeing this, I have some other uh, footage I may be able to use for another episode. I'm uncertain yet, I haven't cut it all together, but we'll see. Uh, I may try and continue doing these with my DSLR, but that, creates a bunch of other challenges because 
uh, the Gorilla tripod thing I have to use uh, is not rated for the weight of the camera that I would have to use. It's, it's stuff that I may have to adjust some things for a few episodes, hopefully only a few episodes, but it's definitely a bummer, definitely frustrating, and um, yeah, just a very inopportune timing that really, really bums me out. But I mean, fingers crossed again, it, it'll be covered and, and it'll be fixed and, and back in my hands sooner rather than later. But I just wanna let you all know what's going on. If uh, some things shift in the way things look for a few episodes, uh, I just, I'm really bummed because I'm really enjoying doing these videos, but we'll figure it out. I'll keep you all updated. Um, as for the rest of this episode, I think, uh, I think, I think we're pretty much gonna call it here. So I hope, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I hope to have good news for you soon. With that said, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.